little Uzi Vert rock song is. And it's a, it's not even a song. It's really a beat just for him saying maybe five words on it, and then that's it. It's not a song, but it's on heavy rotation. What's a chant? I just want to rock, 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 body, yada, yada. That's it. Oh, it's, oh he, he made a he made a club a jersey club mix. It's definitely a jersey club joint. But it's down here rocking. <laughs> rocking. Because them niggas don't know what I'm that is. Niggas that's be, the replacement for Meek Mills joint. That's what everybody keeps saying. Niggas be dancing it's, like it's that the whole time. It's it will that's never what, be. That's what they've been playing at the Philly games lately. And that's why we lost the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, n- yo, people, no, people said that. They said that's why we lost. Because well, normally, because yeah. normally. What we would do, and we only did it the last time we won the Super Bowl, is they came out to fucking um, Dreams and Nightmares. Dreams and Nightmares cannot be replaced because it's good on its own. It's just a good song. That's why it still goes up in the club. It's not to dance to. It's for you to recite every word to. It's a Philly anthem. It's a Philly anthem. I can can give you more Philly anthems if you want. Uh, Summertime by Will Smith. That's the only time you know it's summertime in... Nah, what's another feeling? Uh, that's what's a freeway, summer anthem. Freeway and Beanie Seagull. Rock the mic. Rock the mic is a Philly. I didn't realize that until somebody said I was like, oh shit, when that shit come on and what we do. Yeah. What we yeah, what every we word. Do, uh, uh, yeah, they played that when I went to the concert. The shit go crazy. It's it's a lot of anthems that when they come on, you go every word, but dreams and nightmares is special. Is is really special. You you reciting every word. Even the chicks, even the chicks is sitting there with a screw face on reciting <sighs> every word of dreams and nightmares. This alcohol is terrible. No alcohol <laughs> is terrible. No. <laughs> yes. No, no, no it's advertisement harsh. for Crown Royal, huh? Nah, Crown Royal Peach is fire. Crown Royal. That one, yeah, that one has green a green apple. It's, it's fire. It's, it's sweet at the beginning, and then as it goes down, it's a fucking. It's just monsters to your body. Yada yada yada. What we on the day, man? Speaking about body yada 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 yada. Now, song I was saying. I don't even know. Nah, nah, I ain't even singing that song. But um, I'm talking about uh, first being in a relationship and being single, man. Like um, you know, a lot of niggas is we in relationships right now, but you know. Was the time when nigga was single, and I, you know, and the question is, man, listen, what's better, being in a relationship or being single? Who's happier? You're terrible at this. Oh, I'm not terrible at this. I'm I'm great at this. Now listen. Who do you think is? No, no, no. I ain't gonna say who's happier. I'm gonna just start off like I wouldn't this. say who's better. Do y'all? Let me ask y'all this first question. Do y'all do y'all miss being single? Sometimes I do. Yes, as everybody does. I don't care who you are. Jay Z and Beyonce. There's aspects of being single that yeah, I would miss you for sure. Yeah, what you mean? What yeah. about it? What about it? Do you miss being single? Let's keep it real. What the you- excitement of the newness is one of the main things that you I feel as though I miss from the single single life, like you meeting somebody new and having to go through that quick journey. Remember, not knowing the person, trying to figure out what's going to be, what's not going to be. Kind of the hunt. The hunt, the hunt is is definitely being missed because you know you don't got that. You're not in that go-getter mode. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to feel like you got to impress or do anything. Once you're in a relationship, you kind of get a little bit relaxed. Let things slow down. The hunt is definitely one of the biggest things that you're going to miss. And dog, ain't don't nothing compare to that, that, that one that you don't know. That one that you, you know what I mean? Because I've been in a relationship for a long time. The one with the tricks that you've never, never seen before. Uh, I'm waiting for some one of y'all niggas to say that shit. Like getting getting new pussy, getting new pussy every day. That's yeah. yeah that. you know, you just have, bro, the one with the tricks you never seen before. The one with the trick. The one with the. You know what I'm saying? With the shit that you like. I've mm. never had that done to me before. I told you the tricks that people failed on, but yeah. one, you know what I'm saying the so the soda the soda with the. <laughs> he said, I said, "Yo, you gotta put that shit back. That shit is ass." <laughs> Don't put, don't suck my dick with soda and think you're doing some shit. You know? I mean, how 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 was single like? But how was single being? You know, like what was it that much better? Like you know, being able not work, waking up to nobody, not really having no commitment to nobody. I mean, Do y'all miss that it's shit? I run. think it's just pros and cons to both. But there's things that you get 
in a single life that doesn't necessarily become available when you're in the relationship life. You know what I mean? And those are the things you really just just miss. Like like Dre said, the the new spontaneous. Oh snap! I never had that happen before. We're just going out doing new things that you you know what I mean you've never done with that person. You know what I mean? You'll miss just the new. I just think it's the newness in itself. Nah, y'all don't, that's missed. Yeah, y'all, y'all don't miss the time. What, what do you mean? mean? What I mean by time, just your time. There's, you can do whatever you want, like playing the game. Your free time. That. Go ahead, go ahead, Dre. Speak on it. Well, yeah, you're gonna like all the shit that you just did. What you wanted to do? Yo, you want to do a two a day at the gym? Just do it. You ain't gotta. You ain't gotta check it with nobody. You ain't gotta say where you at when you coming home. You ain't gotta do none of that. You just you don't have to do anything. You just do what you want to do. My car stays clean. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, my house stays clean because, to be honest, I'm always expecting somebody to come over. Even if nobody's coming over, somebody could come over. My house clean in a motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? But somehow I forget all that <laughs> when I'm in a relationship. I forget all that and just leave my house the way it wants to be. You know what I'm saying? Leave my car the way it wants to be. So it's a lot of that. It's just going somewhere with no reason at all. Yo, when I was single, I used to pop over to Philly for no reason. Yeah, I was, I was show bored. up. I was bored. Just go to my hot crib, see who out. You do dumb shit. That's why so many people shooting people. People need to get more pussy. <laughs> yeah, they said they need to be in more relationships. Yeah. Nah, I don't need to be in no, 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 no. They need to get more pussy. Because that's what they doing. They out there shooting niggas because they just out doing shit they ain't got no business doing. That's all. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I miss it. Like I miss it sometimes. I just miss. Being being somewhat free, being free. Fuck it, I'm just gonna say I miss being free. You know what I mean? I do miss that. You know what I'm saying? I miss that freeness of all right. She looks, she looked bad. Her ass is fat. Let me let me holler at it real quick. Maybe I get shot down. Maybe I get lucky. Who knows? Yo, niggas, people call me up on Saturday. Yo, what you doing, cuz? You want to go out to the club? Coastline? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I ain't going to coastline. I'm not going to the coastline. Just throwing it out there. Keep going with your story. No, I'm not going with them dirty, them dirty women. Was that's, there. Yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> he almost made me say it, nigga. He almost made me say it, nigga. No, I, just, uh, I just missed that shit. Like, motherfuckers just call you up like, yo, what's going here Saturday? We doing that. Or you go somewhere. You say you go somewhere new you never been to. And it's just fucking mad fucking women around. And somebody's feeling you there. You can actually sit down and just, like, chop it up with her. We're now in a relationship. He's like, yo, I do not want that trauma right now. Please don't say nothing to me. Let me ask y'all. What's up? And I probably asked y'all this before, but I'm going to ask you this again. You feel like you turned a switch off in your brain, which then I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. You feel like you turned a switch off in your brain, which then led to a switch being turned off, like in your like in your DNA or your genes yeah. to like not I ain't going to say not notice the opposite sex, but that connection because once you when you were single there were times where you connected with the opposite sex like you said you're around them and you kind of notice somebody looking at you and then you kind of go with that like you kind of go with that and strike up a conversation you get to, you know what i mean you might get to know that person in the moment you know what i mean do you feel like you turn that switch off now because because i feel like i turned that switch off a long time ago and it kind of sucks because you literally not to say i would do anything but you're literally like basically like I don't, you're just a fucking, a wall, a wall. Like I don't see you. And it's like, yeah. you know what I mean? I, don't I got, know. I got I, domesticated. I was about to say, yeah, it's, it's the wolf got domesticated. <laughs> That's, yeah. It's been a switch turn up. Cause I mean, before it's, it's just a view of how you would have the situation. Like when you were single compared to when you're in a relationship before you'd view that as potential pussy, not even gonna hold you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? A new female around conversation. But now when you're in a relationship that you're dedicated to, it's it's you don't view it at all because you don't want to get yourself caught or put yourself in a position to lose what you have or, you know, I mean, just um, just give up the morals and and what you think is important for what what we think now is just a a good time. No, I mean, a solo, a little a little rendezvous, an entanglement. Nah, I ain't entangled. You just don't want to get caught up. It's like real shit. Like I, I, I have females now that I see or what when I have a conversation with me. Like yo, it's like hey, it's like it's most blandest conversation. And please get away from me as fast as you possibly can because I don't need the fucking drama right now. You could be asking me directions to the fucking Walmart right now. 
and I might laugh because I'm like, oh, you don't know where you're going and give you the directions. But it'll look like I'm over here trying to fucking take you out for dinner the next night. So you just like you just shut that shit down. You don't even notice them. Like I go to a gym, you might see a girl look at you. It's like girls, on. girls, girls be looking at you at the gym. Not even, yeah, they look oh, at yeah, you I'm, at I'm just asking. I'm asking that because nobody look at me in the gym. So I'm girl. literally in that bitch. I'm putting up everything in that motherfucker. And bitches do not look at me at all. <laughs> no, dis- no disrespect to you, Dre, but and, and niggas like you. But I'm a tall nigga. I'm taller than most of the niggas at the gym. There's a lot oh, of little shit. Yeah, sh- short, 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 it's short muscle. It's oh, short muscle. It's short muscle. It's short muscle niggas in the gym. I'm Kevin's a tall. Not even obscenely <laughs> tall. So I am not obscene. even out of the dog, normal. Dog, I am tall. Dog, I am tall. I'm like taller than your ass. I'm yo, yeah, yo, you think height do it? There's millions of people your height in the world. It's not. It's not millions. Yo, it's like height does the trick for you. Yeah, height does. A lot of people get you in the gym. Yeah, females tell me all you. You're Big dude, like you're a big dude. Like, I, are you? And I stand next to people. No, like I stand next to a lot of people. I probably look short in the NBA, but in general population, it's not a lot of motherfuckers walking around my height. Um, so let's be real. Tell me what they said to you. And they don't. I, I just <laughs> said they look. I, need to know. I, I need said to know. they look. What I said they. I, I, at the gym. I at the gym. They look. You can just. Their eyes. You can just tell. They start from you his never, feet and go up to his head, and that's how they know. That's how you know that they you don't feel fire. you don't feel somebody blazing at you like they like burning like they looking at you hard and you took turn around look at them and they do the quick like it's plenty of times like I be at the gym and you feel somebody like the but heat. you think that's because of your height I don't know what it's because dog I just feel the <laughs> heat staring at me and I look and then the chip yeah, what, what exercise you be doing when that happened. What ex- I need to know this oh I know what exercises to do when I put my stilts on. What do you do? <laughs> what exercise do you do when you be catching them looking at you? Nah, I keep throwing up 300 pounds, midget. <laughs> what exercise <laughs> do you do? I'm not playing. I just want nah, to nah, nah, Y'all niggas trying to you play me play. like y'all niggas like your legs so re- the end of the, your leg is sit firmly on the end of the bench and shit. Like your whole body takes the whole bench up. Like it's cool. Kev, my just... legs touch the ground when I do a bench press and shit. I can actually put my legs down and go like this. But hey, yo, don't be trying to say Dre legs be kicking when you be pushing up the bar. I definitely, you know? look, that's improper form. Nah. I just wanted to know what you be nah, doing. Nah, I, was all, I was at the gym one time, and I kept feeling somebody stare at me. So every time I looked up, it was the same chick. She was like, like two benches down. But she looked at me, and I look over. Like, you know, I look. I get it. I get and she'll go like that, and I'm like. <laughs> she right. approach you? But it's like she approach you. <laughs> she be like, did she approach you? Like she approached me because I didn't say anything to her. I she didn't say like hi. I didn't nod. I just like look and like went back to a blank. Like I got a I got a whole family at home stare like blank. Get the like. Did you make it nigga? awkward? No, she, yes. she made it you, awkward. <laughs> get me, when you seen awkward. her and she seen you, did it get awkward? Did it went you do like. This? <laughs> back to your nah, shit. I went like this, <laughs> like, like I don't care. I did a whole I don't care shit, which would normally wouldn't have been me. It'd have been like that caught, and I see, yeah. If I seen that and that went like two times, it's like, all right, hey, what's up? How you doing? Just what's a bump. Can I? Na- can I ahead. ask you? And and this is in regards to what you're saying. Have you ever been so uncomfortable that you have to literally go over to the person and say, yo, is there, is everything okay? Do I know you from someplace? Like, have you ever been in that position? No, I never been that. I never do that shit. I, I never, that's that's, that's like, that's being an asshole. Really? Yeah, that's being an asshole, dog. You can you can walk past a person, a person like that, like, hey, how you, you just, hey, you just nod at them. They staring too hard. You nod with a smile and you keep it pushing. You don't even spark a conversation. You just... You go, I'll, if I say like that, I'm not smiling and go halfway across the gym. Like, Kev leads them on. No, I don't lead. I'll go. You just say you nod. And I went smile. like this and keep walking. That's like affirmation to let them know. My like, headphones is on. Yo, I'm I not. see you see me. And then she like, oh, and then you walk away. And then she like, oh, he must be walking away somewhere in a disclosed location <sighs> where we can go and have a little conversation. Walk, walk to the tall men's section. I got to <laughs> <laughs> you over there. <laughs> then it be then it, then it will be a rude conversation because I had rude conversation with chicks. Like I really had a rude conversation with a chick. Like I kept trying to scream at me. I'm like y'all got a girl, and she. And I hit her with the line I hit. Oh, I said before. 
Yeah, I said I got a girl. I just I'm not gonna say the line again because I already said it before. <laughs> but I told her I had a girl and I hit her with the line. And I'm like, it happened like maybe I use that corny ass line every time to a different per- I use it maybe three or four times since I've been back with my girl. Like, yo, I have somebody. What how's the line go? You got a girl and what? If she wants oh, to man. pay for yeah, both of y'all. If she wants it's either to I either I tell them straight up, they ask me why I'm not leaving my girl. I said, unless you feel like paying child support, whether we're together or not, this ain't happening. That's or a good, that's a good point. Or the the corniest line, but I use it on a lot. What she yeah. got that I ain't got? Me. There you go. God. What if she don't ask you that? Oh, I, got a, I got a girl. I can't use that line. Walks can't. away like the dude in Superman. Just <laughs> turns around and start fucking walking away. That's <laughs> I'm trying to see where Cal can, okay. how deep can take it. Can I? Can I? Can I share something real quick? But. With that gym story that you was just saying, have you ever, has there ever been a dude that made you uncomfortable? Uh-huh. Yeah, this one nigga, man, he was, he's drawing. Someone's drawing. We work it out. You? Now he was, he was like, he would, like, he, you hear, you see the eyes and the nigga me in the mirror like this. Uh, 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 I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck away from me, weirdo. <laughs> wait, you see his, wait, he's looking at, he me. looked he's looking at, at you me. in the mirror while he looked flexing? at me and then I looked up and then this nigga start flexing. Sup, nigga. I'm like, get the fuck away from me, like you fucking weirdo. Yo, why he start flexing when he saw Kev? Like, yo, bro, I had a nigga. I had a nigga one time in gym. I got to a fight with this nigga. I got in a fight with this nigga at the gym. No, this is at, at gym, gym. At gym in school. Oh, okay. It's where I tell you the story. This weird nigga, man. Every day he was in ninth grade. He was in ninth grade. I was in seventh grade. Every time I come in, I think I told the story. Like, yo, take a shirt, young boy. I'm big as shit, ain't I? Yeah, dude. And like, get dressed and go. Young boy, yeah, I got my shit right. I'm big, ain't I, young boy? Y'all was in the locker room? Locker room. Every day, it was me and another seventh grader. We was just sitting there. It's in the wood? Yes. This is weird. Yo, this weird nigga, man. He was weird as fuck, bro. I never forget this. somebody nigga. we know? Now, I don't know the nigga. I don't remember the nigga name because nigga wasn't that important. He's in jail now. He probably is. But the nigga every day would ask me some weird shit like that. Like, yo, I'm big as <laughs> shit. I'm like, yo, cool. He asked me one, and then one time I said, yo, bro, I'm, I'm not gay, man. I'm not going to keep telling you, you know what I mean? Yeah, you got muscles. I'm not going to keep saying, like, yeah, you, you straight, homie. Like, I'm, I'm like, we're not doing this shit. And the nigga got mad. So the nigga thought he was going to grip me up, and I was going to get scared. I proceeded to fuck, start fucking this nigga up. Man, sure so niggas man. ran out the gym and got the teacher. Remember the cussing ass gym teacher we used to have? Yeah. His ass came... I think me and you was in the same gym at the time. The nigga was... It was, was never, We was never in the same gym. Yes, we was. You kept hitting me with the diamond cutter, nigga. You remember that shit? No. It was me, you, uh, Fatim. We all had the same gym together. Me, oh, you, Oh, that five. was like fucking... What, seventh eighth grade? grade? Seventh grade? grade? Yeah, that nigga was in that gym at the time. This is we weird. We in junior high school. Yes, so, this is what I'm saying. I said I was in the seventh grade. Let me ask you a question. If... If you and Dre were going to the gym together and Dre was looking in the mirror and he was just sizing stuff up and he looked at you, he was like, I'm getting big as hell, right, bro? Yeah. I say, yeah, bro, you're getting big. You're like, but, you're swelling up. And every time y'all go to the gym, Dre it, said that. I was like, yo. You wouldn't I, have a problem with that, right? I would have a problem with that. She had a problem with that nigga. That's why I mean that nigga wow. got to a fight. Yeah, but but what I'm saying is y'all 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 working friends. out y'all y'all yeah We're y'all not working friends, out. Dog. We at gym in school, nigga. We about to go play basketball. We just needed some confirmation. Nah, I ain't what need no Got, he got self doubts every day, and you was the fuck. one guy that he looked at like, yo, this nigga kind of He's big a too. ninth grader, dog. I'm still a ninth yo, grader. I'm seventh grade, got, dog. Yo, but Ain't you nothing we got to talk about, then. dog. Nah. So maybe Ooh, he was no. trying to size up. Nigga almost got suspended and everything. The nigga, the nigga, I just imagine the nigga in there before you get in there. Like, oh, Kev gonna love this shit. Wait till he get in here. <laughs> wait till he get in here. Wait till I show this. Wait till he gets a load of me. <laughs> bro, it got wait weird. till he gets a load of me. Bro, it's I think like I like I would come, I would wait till the shit like get almost at the end. I was getting late because I'm like, I don't want to be near this nigga. Wait, wait. The nigga wait, would like wait, sit wait. next to me and start, yo, my nigga. Imagine, imagine like, Kev walking man. in the locker room, just peeking around lockers, make sure ball ain't around. <laughs> I would do and then, then, and, and then Kev see him and ball turn around and flex. <laughs> <laughs> like I was skinny as shit. This is a big, he's a big ass ninth grader. I'm like, nigga was but the nigga, for you. yo, you see yeah. boy, yo, you see tall boy. I gotta yeah. show you. Hey yo, he, hey yo, hey yo, asking to see where you at Bro. to other classmates. All so I he can flex was where you mean this nigga was, me and this nigga was in there scrapping. I mean, 
The nigga, I say, yo, bro, I ain't gay. You gonna stop with this yeah. bullshit, is dog? He, is he gay? I don't know fuck if he was. I didn't nah, say that is that is some that's you press you pushing boundaries, thing. dog. You push have boundaries. Have you seen him since? No, I haven't. Bro, in, bro if I seen that nigga, if I seen that nigga now, I really punch that nigga. Why, in the shit. bro? Because yo, you the are shit about to be forty. And you talking about I don't something don't care. In like he, oh, he, he, he way older than me. Like, why are you trying to? Like you know, because back then niggas were trying yeah, to pump the seventh grader. The most, he was two years older than. I don't you. care, but I don't give a fuck. You a ninth grader? Why are you fucking with little ass seventh grader? It's my because first year. Because you knew you was old as hell in seventh grade. Well, I wasn't old as hell, dog. I wasn't no bitch. We though. was old as <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> found that out. Like he yeah, found he was. He so, found you, that. Oh, so you thought he was like trying to flex on you on some? Trying like, to flex on me on like, some sucker? Like I'm a sucker? I'm, like I'm yeah, 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 nigga. Like yeah, little nigga. I'm like yo, bro. Nigga hit me with that shit. But we getting off subject. But the nigga was like, "How many times yeah. did did you did you I, say he I looked I acknowledge big that before shit for like, yo, time. I acknowledge that shit for about a good month. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't beat this nigga. So thirty days. And then after, after yeah, because I'm like, I can't beat this nigga. And then one day I just came in there and I was like, I'm tired of shit. Like we're not doing this shit today, <laughs> dog. <laughs> we not huh? we not doing this shit today. Like we're not doing yeah. this shit today. I came, I already came in the yo, bro. I came to school with the mindset to fight that day. That's the mindset I had when I you left woke home. Up and was I like, knew if this I was nigga asked me today. If I, I mean, me and this nigga fight is fighting today. today. Today is the day he's gonna see me how and this big nigga, I am. This nigga dog he came <laughs> with pause, <laughs> hard pause. <laughs> the nigga, the that. nigga said this shit, and that's when I said, "Yo, bro, we not gonna keep doing this shit, bro. I'm not gay." And the nigga like stood up and flexed, like, "Young boy, you talking shit?" I just stole him. I said, "I got to strike first. We start rocking." The other young boy that I was with, he ran out, got the gym teacher. I never forget the gym teacher snatched both of Carter's dumb fuck stools against the wall, slammed the shit out of both of us. Who was that, wall. Mr. Edwards? Yeah. Man, you know the cussing that cussing ass nigga. Now it wasn't Mr. Edwards, it was that other uh it was Edwards who was the other boy he used to cuss. He told you to get your uh, motherfucking ass off the monkey bars. Oh shit. <laughs> you yo, remember nigga, bro? yo niggas was in school <laughs> talking to y'all filthy, bro. He was a gym what teacher. A reputation is goodness. Hey, so I was just like I had it with him. And like, yo, I'm like, and when the gym teacher's like, yo, why you fight? I'm like, yo, this nigga think I'm gay. He keep he keep fucking with me. Like, well, I ain't son, no are you? <laughs> nah. But it's like, yo, bro, it's like we get way off subject. But it's just like, well, it was, was just, it was just words. Kid. I was originally. Nah, it's not finished. words, dog. You, it's not words. Like nigga be following me around in the gym sometimes. Word for real? Yeah, that's why I was asking because it's, it's like a, I was way off. Yeah. Well, no, I'm just, <laughs> I want. I was just saying. You it. think you single? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He saw me. I talked to him one time because I was doing these um exercises with you know. I was doing shoulder presses and like he was like, Yeah, man, you're doing yeah, that's a lot of weight, man. I'm like, Yeah, all right. I don't like talking to people in the gym, I like keeping it moving. So now every time I go there at a certain time and he's there, if I'm on the treadmills, which is the other side of the gym, he'll just be over there and he'll do like two reps on something and then just walk around. I'll go to the other side of the gym. And go do any other type of presses. The nigga go over there and start doing some other exercise where he'll do like two reps and then just like walk around in that one area. I said, damn, all right, maybe it's just me. So I'll go somewhere else and I'll do another exercise. And then nigga, I'll look and the nigga will be right there and he'll do like two reps of something else and then just walk around. I said, yo, is this nigga following me? And he's did it like at least three times in the gym. So that's why I was asking you if you ever felt uncomfortable with a nigga in the gym. Y'all never uh, spotted each other? I mean, I sometimes I say what's up, but he weird because he'll just be walking around after he do his two reps and he'll just walk like, nigga, you, you barely did any workouts, but you always wind up near me. What did y'all ever tell each, each other? Yeah, I looked at the nigga dead in his fucking eye. No, 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 not Steve. Design. Like I spot you there. Like oh, nah, you drawn. No, we never like, spot like y'all. <laughs> <you. laughs> hey, Yo, Yo, bro, I don't want nobody spotting me. I don't want anybody spotting me in the gym. So you told the nigga you in a relationship then, huh, bro? Uh, damn near. Like if he if he gets if he gets closer if he gets like to the point yeah. where the nigga just inappropriate yeah I'm at the time like bro I don't, I don't, <laughs> he do, said I don't he do exercises do. circling you like a hawk. <laughs> that's how, that's actually how it feels. All right. That's how it feels. Yes. Maybe he's a gym president. Let me ask y'all a question. Because we, we, 
getting back to our subject, like we all in relationships sometimes, like barely. Yeah, but you ever catch we yourself out with relationships? Yeah, we all sometimes. in relationships. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we in a relationship. We all in relationships. But do you, sometimes you catch yourself without you out with your girl, you be looking at a maybe like glance at another girl, you be like, damn. I tell you something right Nigga, now. Do I? My my, my <laughs> wife will what? be like, my wife no, will no, no, show no, no, me no, no, fat no, no, asses. No, no, no. But you hear him? But, but there's a. De- I mean, she, 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 my wife. She doesn't. Me she, fat doesn't ass. she doesn't expect me to go and and grab her. She'll be like, "Wow, she's got a big booty." And what the fuck? She yeah, nah, nah, nigga, I not niggas like, with yeah. relationships like that. No, yeah, no, that don't count. Why? Because your your wife spots or your your girl spots asses with you. Mine don't do that dumb shit. I look at fast. Right. I'm getting swung on. I'm getting swung on, my nigga. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, you don't say to yourself, like, sometimes you, like, it's sometimes I, I'm in a relationship, but sometimes we're getting like a little rocky path. It's like, yo, man, like, I don't got to be, I don't have to be doing this shit right now. <laughs> what did you just say? Yeah, I don't have yeah, to. I'm about to say, uh, what? Shut the fuck up. Y'all niggas think <laughs> like this. I what you said. Yeah. You be on a rocky fucking path with your girl. Like, it'd be like, yeah, it's really bad. And you saying to yourself, like, the fucking, like, I wasn't going to have to take this bullshit. Like, come on, man. Shut the fuck up. And I'm not the only nigga that think like that. But you, but then you fucking self evaluate, like, yo, I fucking love her. You're like, I ain't. I ain't gonna leave, yeah, but yeah, on yeah, some real shit, I'll be looking like <laughs> good move motherfucker. Off. I ain't like yo, like I could probably die on the podcast right nah, now. Nah, ain't Michael Jackson, but sometimes no, like, yo, at the age on, that man. I'm at right now, and the shit that I've gone through in my relationship, the time and dedication, I, I don't, I'm not looking at the situation like I don't gotta be here now because if I don't have to be here now, then what the fuck am I doing? You know what I mean? Like my process of thinking at this point is different. Me missing certain aspects of being single, yeah. Me thinking, you know what? I ain't got to deal with this shit, and I'm going to go get some pussy, or I have the opportunity to go get some pussy, and I can go do that right now. I don't let that slip into my mind because of what the end result could be. You know what I'm saying? Period. For Just my in a mind aspect like mine, I don't let that shit slip in there. I'm That's out. a crazy thing mm. to have creep in your brain and then have to fight off later. Because imagine you're at your weak point and it's a rocky situation and you're thinking about that while you're not home and somebody just happens to come across. Now you're fighting that thought and the the advance of someone else. I'm not dog. I, I, that's that's an easy fight off. I ain't talking. I ain't necessarily talking about pussy. I don't sometimes it it, sometimes it's just me saying to myself like, this motherfucker, I, don't don't wanna, I could be this. in this bitch by myself listening to myself playing my game watch what the fuck have I want to watch you ever said that out loud in an argument <laughs> no I never I don't said have that to deal with this shit I could be somewhere else have you ever said that in the in an argument I ain't got strange sound <laughs> I ain't never say that shit I never say that shit but I'm uh, but, but you think it. I don't I'm not thinking about I'm not when you when I I'm say about myself with, I'm, I'm not thinking about fucking I ain't even necessarily I'm about fucking me. it's just like yo I can have a fucking peace of mind right now by myself like, come I on, think, man! I'm the only think, nigga that think that shit. No, I think you're not the same. I'm not. You're not the only person who thought that, and I think all of our girls have thought that too. Yeah. No, I could just be by myself and fuck this nigga. <laughs> like, fuck this nigga. Like, you, you, I could do bad all by myself. That's what people, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> but yeah. the long run, no, it's that's that's not what you want in the long run. Nah, it's not what you want in the long. It's not what you want in the long run. But sometimes, like, if it's really like. Come on, man. All of us had like really bad situations or bad, really rock, rocky, rough points in our relationship. You and you really contemplate, like, man, I, like this shit ain't working. Like, I'm probably better off single. But then you fucking no, sat. In you sat oh, come on, man. In, in previous, yeah, no, not right now. In previous relationships, I understand that notion. It, me married, being right? in a relationship now. That doesn't apply. I mean, you know, I'm about to be not married, married dog Dre. I'm talking yeah, about. I'm, 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 I'm talking. Saying. You're married, Dre. You're married, Dre. We get it. But I'm talking about. <laughs> but I'm, ten, I'm it, how long? How long you been with? Tell niggas how long you been with your girl. Damn near twenty years. Almost yeah. So uh, you never felt like this. That never a point in your relationship. Back in the day. I, yeah. All right. Because if you're oh, saying man. now, then I don't think that because I wouldn't have gotten married. I'm saying ever said, oh, I could just be by myself. Like exactly. I wouldn't have got married. <laughs> I've been, me and my girl have been off and on. The only reason back. that I don't like that. You're the only one that doesn't love your girl. 
Yeah. <laughs> I love my girl. Chill, yeah. <laughs> chill. What the fuck you talking about? Right, chill. <laughs> you going, you're going too chill. far. You drawing that. My, my bad. bad. My bad. <laughs> but my the only bad. reason I don't agree with that statement right now is because it's 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 not really how you feel. If 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 you're if that if that feeling ever occurs to you while you're in a relationship while you're in your relationship right now, and you say I could do bad all by myself, I I could just be alone. Then that is a very big statement that you're saying to yourself when you're looking at yourself in the mirror. You're telling yourself you don't really need this, and now you're not. Now you're fighting to be with that situation more than you are fighting to to get that notion out of your head. Well, let me let me let me switch it up. Then that's, that's just let me, my opinion. Let, let me just say then then I'll switch it up. And say I'm, I'm I think that I don't feel that way because I know where she's going. I miss her. I mean, think that shit. I, it may be a thought. Which is just a quick thought. It's a quick thought, and it's like, it's like, uh, and it's out my brain. It's not like I'm fighting myself. I don't fight myself being in a relationship. I'm happy where I'm at, dog. Let's make it. Can, let's make it clear. I'm happy where I'm at. I'm golden where I'm at. Girl, I Dre. love. Don't ever cross that line. Ever the fuck. I don't ever right? cross. I don't. Cross. I'm talking to Dre. I'm talking to Dre. I'm talking to Dre. I don't. Dre, fuck y'all niggas. I don't cross. Right I don't cross <laughs> that. I don't cross not that you, line. Not you, Dre. I said. Nah, y'all niggas. <laughs> I ain't Kevin crossing no lines. I'm not crossing the gun line, boss. <laughs> don't cross that line. I, I don't yeah, worry. I don't worry. I like joking. I don't. Like I don't say that shit. Like, but sometimes, I, like I miss my peace. Sometimes I do miss my peace. Like it's good with my girl. Like my girl's leaving this weekend to go set up a baby shower. I know it's gonna be the best weekend ever. Ever. I know I'm gonna wake up late, be able to play the game until I can't. No one. I can take naps. I can play my game. I can take my nap. I could just whatever. It, you know, clean my house up. It's just whatever. It's, just doing whatever, and there's nobody here but me. It's just a peace of mind. But when she went after a while, I was like, all right, she gotta come the fuck back home. You know what I'm saying? Well, is your girl ever your peace? Yes, bro. My girl want peace every day. I come home from work. It's like I, I gotta no, see my right. family. No need to lie. What I'm saying is, is your girl ever your peace in real, in real um, circumstances, yeah. like real times? Is she ever your peace? Not. Bro, it's been I'm some time in my life. Hell yeah! I, how many times have I not said that shit? I tell that shit. I tell that shit to people all the time. Like I'm grateful that we're back together. Like real shit. It's like that's not the question, Kev. All right, if she's my piece. Girl. She's my piece. She's my piece. When like she's my piece. If I have a stressful day at work, yeah, it's my piece to come home. It's like all right. I'm how happy. how is she your piece? And I'm not questioning you saying she's not. I'm saying like she how? she kiss she kiss me just, just being around. She hug me for no fucking reason. She just see me out of fucking whack, and she will just come up to me without even having saying a word. Just come up to me, hug me, or or, or or rub me, or just whatever, or just say hey, or, or just or just sit next to me. She just know I'm going through something, and she sees like a cloud hanging over my head, and she'll fucking go like this to the cloud for me, and I'm like, all right, cool, I'm better now. You know what I'm saying? Do you ever concentrate on being her piece? And I'm just curious, and you can both of y'all can answer, or one of y'all, I don't care. You fucking do, right. If something, no, do you right. ever concentrate on being her piece? Like I'm gonna make sure she's good today. I'm curious. Oh yeah, she is my girl in the fucking funk. Yeah. It's days I think about this shit all the time and I fuck up and don't come through with it, but I try to do something different. I may say, yo, I, I got to go, when I get off of work, go buy her some flowers for no reason, bring them shits home. And I keep saying that shit, saying that shit in my head, draw right past all the stories, I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> but I go home and give her a kiss. You know what I'm saying? I just want to get home. But I just come home, say what's up, kiss her, talk to her, you know what I mean? Do some different shit. Lay on her, just like put my body weight on, just annoy her for a few minutes. You know, I just to let her know I'm around. That like, I'm not just coming home and being in the house because we do that. We people just come home and just be in the house and we just around each other. It's like sometimes you gotta, you know, have that physical touch. You just can't be around each other. So that's Kev. He get a phone call right now. This girl's like, stop fucking lying on the internet. Stop lying on this goddamn podcast, nigga. That's my daughter. <laughs> she telling you stop daughter. lying too. I just think that that's that's one of the things that that comes with being in a relationship too is is having that peace because guess what when you do have a bad day and you by yourself or you with you know because these these bitches out there ain't shit you come oh, home no, no. And you come home and a, and, a, and a woman call you you know trying to see where you at 
and you start telling about how bad your day is, and she's like, uh, yeah, yeah, let me call you back. Let me call you back. She'll make up anything. Uh, you know, my hot water running or some dumb shit like that. Let me call you back. And then you never hear from that bitch again. So coming home to somebody who honestly has to listen to your dumb shit comes in handy. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the 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 the, the pros about uh being in a relationship. So that's really what I was trying to trying to um get out of the whole conversation so what you think is better man like like i know they both have their pros and cons but at this stage in your life like what do you think is relationship relationship because you need listen once when a man when a man is in his 20s he's finding his way and this is traditionally speaking because at this point i'm still finding my way um in your 20s a man is finding his way in your early 30s you might be settling down in your late third, mid to late thirties, you know you're you're concentrating on your career, and this traditionally speaking, you're concentrating on your career, raising your kids and stuff like that. You need a support system. You need you need to be um, you need a good foundation, and a good woman is uh, detrimental to that, or uh, I might have used the wrong word, but she's instrumental. Excuse me, to that, and. Yes, being in a relationship at our age makes the most sense. You can say that you're going to be out there. Oh, if I was single, I'd be out there doing. You ain't going to do shit. You, you don't need game no more, nigga. You're not running up and talking to girls. Go up and talk to a girl right now. She's going to be like, what the fuck is you talking to me for, nigga? What's your Instagram? And neither one of y'all niggas use Instagram, so you wouldn't be able to do shit any fucking way. I you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't. I got what's your, what's your Instagram? On that jaw. Could you imagine yourself being single right now? Like, could you really imagine yourself? All Kev do on his Instagram is just be tall, so he can't. You can't. (laughs) Obviously, that's what he get the looks for. That's how (laughs) he get the looks. That's why. That's why. If I was single, I go bag me somebody like forty (laughs) five, fifty. Need an old hold. Need an old hold on. I just need a. And the reason I need one of them old holes because you need an old hole that's almost in a like damn near like relationship. But it's not really. They still talking to you, bro. You th- meaning when I say talking to you, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking to men. Do you think that they still using the same techniques to talk to men? Who older women? Yeah. You think the 45 year olds still like? You think they're giving out their number or they're giving out Instagrams? Man. They're giving out Instagrams, bro. 45 too. They ain't huh. just for the young people. That's the way of life now. In 50, I'm talking motherfucker ain't fucking with that. Oh, he's gonna man. keep increasing your age limit. He's fucking right till I find somebody that's wait. my he speed. Gonna, I don't. I don't. That's why I don't want to. I don't. At this, like I said, I'm at this stage baby. of this life. I love my relationship. I love that I got somebody I come home to. I love some. I love the fact I got somebody to understand me. I love somebody who there to take care of me and somebody I got to take care of. You know, we both is hand in hand. She take care of me. I take care of her. That's how this fucking thing works, though. Yeah, it's some days I get back and like, damn, I have flashbacks in my single days. But it's like, and then I think about this shit, and then I think about all the fucking the dumb shit with coming with what, what comes with being single. And I'm like, yeah, I'm glad I don't have to deal with that headache no more. Like, I get my breaks. Like, I get my, like, she got her own life. I got my own life. So I get my breaks of having time to myself, and then I get my time where she's around the whole fucking time with me. Yeah. That's cool. It, as far as, like, the sex thing, I don't, you know, sex is being single is is a different thing every night. Like you excited every time, every time you have sex with the, you having sex with different people or somebody you're not having sex with on a consistent basis. So it's exciting every night being in a relationship. You have your nice whereas is a fucking, you just going through the fucking motions Emo and then you get Yeah. And, but then you have your nice was like, I right, you know this tonight is a little different. Like we did something. We did something. Now this is gonna be a little different tonight. But it's the same old spaghetti. But it's is a little different tonight. It's like <laughs> same she, old spaghetti, just a little different say, sauce. It's a little sauce. <laughs> she might say the next day, like, "Hey, you get that text message, like, yo, last night was. You get that text message. I was just thinking about last night when I got one of them recently. It's a real question. I was, you, I was gonna ask one last time. You got, I got, I got that. Text. One, I got one of them like a couple of days ago. I still got text messages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kev, uh, all right, here's a question. You, you. You forty, about to be forty now, right? Uh-huh. You single, newly single. You you ready to strap that Jimmy up now? <laughs> you ready to go back into the field and strap? Have to strap your Jimmy up now? Hell no! I'm at the age where I'm damn near about fuck to die. Right I'm well, about well, to die. I don't give a fuck. I'm okay, halfway out the door. Kev don't care to get her back. I'm out. halfway out the door. Don't care. He said I'm halfway, halfway out, out the door. door. He don't care if we get herpes now. Bro, he's gonna I, keep it. That's what I'm saying. Like, give it to everybody else. 
I'm saying if I'm an old nigga, like that's why it's a lot of that's why a lot of niggas in them senior care homes got diseases. Half the niggas is G Def is just all right. They don't give a fuck about strapping up. They they know it's almost over. They know it's over. They 70. He's actually right years old. You 40, Kev. I I mean, let's just say you got 30 more years. You ready with the with 30 more years of hit it with the earwax test. I don't know what that is, bro. I don't know what that is either. But the you fact take that you're some air wax, you just see you burning. So the pussy, the pussy gets hot, you burning. I don't know, man. What just... doctor recommended? <laughs> no doctor. It was some young boy shit. We just <laughs> said. <laughs> 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 at, at forty, at forty, a lot of niggas hey, say, yo. "No, man, this bitch look clean." Like you, you what? might strap it up. I've never once said that she looks clean. I'm just going to dive right in. That's I'm... never been something that I've said. Kev, I'm just going to put the clues that you put together. You said that you was going to look for an elderly bitch, right? An mm-hmm. elderly, an old, old, 50, old ho with an old so, so. 50 plus. And you're not going to strap up. And you also just said that these elderly bitches are the ones who get the most diseases because they don't care no more. So you pretty much <laughs> yourself as being just self, the one. I just self-sacrifice my the- dick right there. <laughs> yeah. I, listen, and the reason I keep saying an old, an older woman that I'll be single with is because the, listen to them older women is like they they got the speed they know what they want they kind of take care of you like you in a relationship but they ain't looking for one and they uh-uh, making their move you you speaking as if you still 30 yeah you be 40 yeah. those 50 year old bitches ain't taking care of your dumb ass yeah. let me say they you looking old, for you to take care of them oh yeah my bad because them <laughs> some bitches that are 50 is only a couple years a couple grades ahead of me it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. was only a couple no, grades. Not. There was a couple grades ahead of me in high school. When you were in the eighth grade. They were out of high school. <laughs> they babysat your ass, nigga. That's a decade. They were driving cars yep. while and you I'm, was riding bikes with pigs. I'm saying this no, because when we was in our again. 20s and we talked about the 50 year olds, yes, it was like all you got to do is just give them good dick and blah, whatever, 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 and they'll take care of you. But if you're 40 and she's 50, I mean, in all honesty, y'all grew up in almost in the same era, almost in the same. Yeah, era. It's like she looking at you like, nigga, what's your, you know, what's your 401k looking like? Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a different. But you, get, but, mm-hmm. you get, but you heard what you just said. Where my 401k? They are not looking. For, they you almost somewhat in a relationship like y'all are cool enough to like this might be like almost a one on one thing. She might have somebody else she talking about, but y'all more or less a one on one thing. It's not y'all committed to nobody's committed, but it's like. We just seen each other. You get what I'm saying? So I'm cool with that. It's like, all right, I ain't really committed to this thing. I ain't say I'm in a relationship, but she knows that she needs a little bread from me and I got it. I give it to her. And even though we ain't in a relationship and if I'm hungry and I want something to eat, she'll cook for me. But there's no real serious commitment to that shit yet. Yeah, you can. You know, all you gotta do with a fifty-year-old, all you probably gotta do is tell her that. Yeah, I deal with other women here and there, but you know, I strap up or whatever. She just needs somebody to go on vacation with, bro. She needs somebody to go on cruises with, cause she just want to have fun. She already done did the marriage. She already done did the you know fucking yeah. this person that person. She really needs just somebody to do shit with. That's the opposite sex. That's really what it is. Yeah, but that's what I think we I think we all at that point, right? That's why I'm happy I'm in a relationship. That's the point I'm at right now in my life. I don't need the new pussy. I need somebody, I need somebody I can rely on. I need somebody like if I'm going on trips, got somebody going on trips with. If I'm doing like the wine festival shit I do, or you know, something fun that adults would do that I have that person. I'm not going in there by myself. I'm not the op man. A partner op. in the journey of your life. I need my Robin. Your life, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I, your your, my, your bat, better half. My bat, my, this bad man needs his bad woman. You, you know what I'm saying? Dog. I was about to say, I don't know why you would pick a boy. It's a Batman. I said <laughs> Batman and Robin because they like the dynamic duel, but I said Batman and Batwoman. Oh, well, you got, you got Robin at the gym looking at you, nigga. <laughs> Oh, shit. He trying to make you his bro. I'm, I'm scared, nigga. When I see that, I'm, I wasn't joking about that. That was a real story I wanted to share on here, but it, it went left before I could. I wanted to share that. That shit is creepy, nigga. Does he look like <laughs> Richard Simmons? Nah, he he's, he a Spanish boy. He just, but it's weird. It's like, why are Yo. you? I wish I could show you what he does, but it's it's weird. He got a so. lot of tattoos on him. He look no. like he got he look like he got out of prison. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, is his eyebrows arched? No man, 
No. No. You know you can do. Puerto Ricans do that shit. You know you can't look at a nigga and tell if he's gay, right? No, 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 no. Puerto Ricans do that shit. Puerto Ricans arch their eyebrows. Like they go to the barbershop, get their eyebrows cut. Nah, he, he an older dude. Like I can say, we spoke to each other one time, like you know, and workout stuff. Man. But now it's just creepy because just give me a what's up and keep it pushing. Stop working out near me, doing two reps, and then fucking prowling around. Don't get Jeffrey Dahmer. He targeting you. It looks like no. Nah, it looks like that. It looks like most more Jeffrey Dahmer shit. It's targeting That's, you. But I'm like this, but you know, no, no matter how much. Yeah, till you get one of them shakes and then you pass out on your way to the car. You think I just be drinking random shakes in these gyms? Yo, give me, give me a shake. <laughs> yeah. the fuck? No, yeah, you go Bring over there, you get your little juicer. Nah, you sit your water bottle down. You do a rep. You turn around. He walks <laughs> by real quick. Don't let that nigga have you. Don't let that nigga like run up on you, hit you with a like the mask real quick, put this shit across your face. You wake up strapped. Oh shit. Wake up strapped to a work, a weight bench or some shit like that. I <laughs> niggas really think this nigga could overpower me. First of all, you don't why need do y'all to be think this gym is empty? <laughs> why do y'all think this is just an empty gym at like you, 12 o'clock at night and this is just me and him? What's time you can go into I the gym, dog? Movies. He hit you with one of the Midday. needles. Next uh, thing you know, you're groggy. He helping you walk out like, oh, my friend, he's a little messed up. I'm going to take him home. Dog, and we are not friends. And you wake up. <laughs> yeah, but he's, they wouldn't know that while dog. he's carrying you out. This you know what I mean? You wake up straddled. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah. Arms day. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Why am I wearing assless chaps? <laughs> I hate that this is where y'all minds went. Merengue music in the background. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna get the fuck up out of there, y'all. Y'all tripping? Yeah. Be in an empty warehouse, just screaming. Nobody can hear you scream. Y'all tripping? <laughs> I'm gonna get the fuck up out of there real fast too. Out there, teaching niggas, you to put chops. Y'all niggas, out your mind. You, nigga, you ain't getting out no chains. We got you chained up. You think you a credible hawk, nigga? You, you gonna chain me too? What would he chain you to? That's your breaks. Whatever he takes you to. That's your breaks. That nigga chain chain you to an I beam, you're done. <laughs> you might be right. You, might be right. you crazy. I'm going to sh- shimmy up that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> shimmy right up that motherfucker. What you talk about? I'm resourceful, nigga. Fuck you going to do? Just sit there and being tall? No, nigga. I'm going to get up out of there. Ah, nigga go- that nigga is going to let you sit up there. And gonna go go to McDonald's get something to eat, and you go be yeah. still up there and slide back down that pole crying. No, you chained up. You gonna get hungry. You gonna get hungry. Your arms gonna get tired. Oh, I see this Spanish dude sitting there. Hey, I didn't know it was going to be a show. <laughs> Yo, Kev, you I'm tired of you and, sitting there you talking and using an the accent like you're not Spanish. That's the funniest shit I've ever seen before. A you're Spanish nigga down. using a fake Spanish accent. You going, going up and down the Spanish pole. nigga. <laughs> you going up and down the pole. You in Miami, so you're more than likely Cuban. Nah. <laughs> I don't know what this thing is, bro. I'm beyond. No. I'm more than likely Cuban. What's that? What's that fake ass Chinese store called? Uh, Panda Express. That's the Panda Express of Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. That was Blame good. my mama. Blame my mama. Oh, shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, both of y'all getting looked at by dudes in the gym. You don't go to a gym. You go if to you gym, went you... to the gym, you be the belly of the ball, my nigga. You be the belly of the ball. They're going to look at you like, oh, shit. That's why he's getting a guy at home. Like oh, shit. Is that the strawberry fours he got on? <laughs> oh, shit. Don't get weird. Don't get weird. Yo, know, it's niggas like it's niggas like you at the gym too. Just be weird, niggas like come with all their Jordan gear on and be matching from like head to toe. I'm like, yo, you really weird today, dog. You really weird. <laughs> yo, wait, I know we off subject. Can I talk about the people that uh go to the gym for people to look at them? Like the niggas that wear all the Jordan gear? Yeah. Talk about them niggas. Really? I got a bunch of niggas at my gym. Women, they do this thing where they tuck their shirt into the into the bra mm-hmm. so their butts can be out. Why are you doing that? Bro, here was a fucked up thing. I'm That's it. Tell. That's all I want to talk about. But the girl that kept staring at me, I ain't gonna lie. She had one of them things. And that's why I kept looking straight and not, not paying attention. But she did the same shit. She took the shirt in. I'm like, fuck, man. Just keep working. I get out of here. Like, yeah. I only got, I got one more set. Like, it was weird. 
It was the hair guy went, went, went weird. Like I this is how I knew she was checking me out because I just fucking I listen, listen to me. Listen. I did I did like I just like I was on chest and arms that day. So I where I was at, she was there, she was there for a minute because I was just doing all I was doing the inclines on the uh on the on you know dumbbells. Yeah. So I was just moving the bench up a little. Mm-hmm. So I said, you know what, let me get out of here. Like I said, let me go somewhere. Maybe I'm tripping. So I fucking did like tricep pull downs. She's she still there. I said, all right, cool. But I could still feel her standing at me because it wasn't too far. I went to go to the curl machine. Like she's been doing like leg lifts the whole time. I go to the little sub curl machine. This motherfucker sits down right next to me. Luckily, my phone rings and like she looks at me. I look, I'm like, yo, what's up, bro? <laughs> I'm like, the fuck? Like, you, like no I caught it right there. I caught this motherfucker to raise and say something. My phone just like, Jesus saved me because it was a bad moment. It's a bad moment for me too, but Jesus saved me. I was like, yeah, what's up, bro? I kept doing my workout while I'm talking to my bro. I kept went to the other arm. I got off the phone. I said, I'm getting the fuck up out of here. I said, I'm out. <laughs> Yo, I'm trash, right? Like compared to compared to how I feel, I used to look. I feel like I'm trash, right? Huh. You ever think, no, just just bear with me. You ever feel like if you wasn't trash and the bitches was really like trying to holler at you, would you be weak? Would you give in to that? Cause like real, no bitches be trying to talk to y'all. Keep it real. They don't be trying to talk. They don't be trying to talk to me neither. But if they was, what would you do? I, I, bro, real shit. I walk away. Here's the real question: If right now, I trash, I I, would you be in the relationship that you're in now? I, I yes, because she called me early. I was the trash when I got back, my girl. I was in top shape. I was. I was, I was, I was, yeah, I was still kickboxing. Yeah, still skinny. I'm still skinny, <laughs> nigga. I'm fat now. I ain't gonna lie. I'm fat as shit. Nah, I was, I, I was about to talk shit, but yeah, nah, you was in shape. I do remember that. Yes. Yeah, you I was still, I, I was still kickboxing. So yeah, I was in shape. So she caught me at a, she caught me like there. I was just, I, I love being with her. I, I'm not, it's not even for her. I don't even give a fuck if she watching or not. That's, like, not, I that's look, not the answer to my question. If I still look good, not, nah, um, <laughs> no. No, if, if, if I didn't feel still, like, if you still look like that and they was coming at you all day good. long, like it was really like it was back in the day, is my point. If they was coming at you, is what I'm talking about, bro. It'd be rough, but the only reason I say, and this is legit, not only because of my girl, but you understand, I got my my daughter. I I ain't miss shit at, and like I ain't I ain't sh- wasn't shit as a boyfriend. In my relationships, me fucking up costs my kids not to be here with me. I got a little girl that I just had with my girl that was in the house with me, been with me for the past three years. Every day I come home, before, as I'm putting my key into my lock, she's standing at the door jumping for joy, waiting for me to open the fucking door up so she can jump in my arms. That is the real reason I don't fuck around. And I'll be completely fucking honest with you. Family, you're right. That is the that'd be like I don't give a fuck how bad me and my girl relationship. That is the main reason. That little that right there is the best fucking feeling in the fucking world. Damn love. You got some your girl picked all them pillows out. But that is the best feeling in the world. That that little motherfucker pillows. Yeah, I already said. Yeah, that is coming. I almost said it, but that feeling right there is the best fucking feeling in the world. That this little girl waits on me. She even says it. She come in the house and she with her mom. She's like, Dad, I didn't see you all day. And just sit there and just want to just love up on me. Just sits there and just wants to be. So that's why I don't fuck up, man. I fucked up a lot of relationships in the past. I'm too fucking old right now. Even if I did have that shit coming at me, which I have had chicks come at me, real shit. I just, I just, real, real shit, I get ignorant. I get rude as fuck. I really get ignorant. Like I get like I if you if I say no and I'm good and you keep persisting, I get fucking ignorant and I get rude. And then next time that person, if they bump into me again, they know not to say anything to me. I hate being like that because I'm a I'm a very outgoing person. I like to talk to people, I like to laugh, I like to joke with people, but it's it's like is that like you said early in the podcast, that switch has been flipped the fuck off, dog. Like I had to flip it off. Cause I don't want to. I'm scared that I'll give into old fucking habits. That's what I'm scared of. I'm scared I'll give into old habits of temptation. I'm scared I'll give into old habits, which I know they're not there, but I'm fucking terrified that I will give into old habits. So I just. It's been a lot of training though for that. I mean, think about it. All the relationships that, not Dre, but me and you have been through that 
kind of been down and out way it felt like it's our fault it was like <clears throat> now that we're in a relationship that we're happy with we know what not to do to keep us from being in the same position we were before at least you know for the things that was our fault you know what i mean it, it was like a little training seminar in life through these relationships that we've gone through learning what you'll take what you won't take what you'll do what you won't do how to keep yourself happy, make someone else happy. You know what I mean? Sometimes you had to lose what you had to lose to get what you got now. Mm -hmm. That makes any sense. No, it makes perfect fucking sense. I, some motherfuckers that like, like it's some people I see now. I'm like, yo, I'm grateful that we broke the fuck up. You look happy. <laughs> just like I'm happy. There's some people you just be like, yo, please. Find happiness, yo. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> hey, yo, find happiness, yo. Motherfucker, please go move find on with happiness. your fucking life, you dickhead. You know what I mean? I wish you find happiness. Go ahead, Dre. Go. I mean, if they throwing it at you, I'm not, I'm not, listen, I'm not worried about it, but if they throwing it at you, <laughs> I wouldn't do anything, but I just hey. think a lot of shit would be different if niggas... <laughs> If niggas was actively out there getting bitches, <laughs> shit gets way different than what motherfuckers are talking so, about. Yo, so yo you, theoretically, I ain't gonna ever do nothing. Nigga. I ain't never gonna do that. But if fucking Reddy Rucci over there and, and you see her every day and she keep trying to throw it at you, you gonna be like, shit. I don't know, man. I don't want to crack that ass. Because cause it's like the, the caliber of women and you just, I'm just saying it might fuck with your mental a little bit. Yeah, you it, know it, what I mean? It will. It will if she bad, if she's bad and she's hollering at you, it's man, it is a bunch woo. of them though. You could be in the NBA, let's say you're in the NBA, and it's a bunch of them. That's why that's, well, that's the type of shit I'm talking about. I, I talk shit, like I that, talk shit like. on my nigga LeBron James, but I applaud that nigga the most because I never heard no negative shit come his way, and he is the fucking the elite of elite superstars in the league right now. And I may fuck with him and talk shit about him. I don't like him as a basketball player, but as it, what he do as a family man, and I know pussy being thrown at this nigga everywhere he go. I still haven't heard one motherfucker say he in my inbox, he in my DM or anything like that. He, or I flirt with him at the game. I'm his side bitch. I haven't heard nothing from him. So a nigga like that, I'll applaud. You know I'm saying like maybe something might come out 20 years later online, but I don't see it from him. And I ain't going to beat him up as a black man. I'll beat him up on the basketball court, but as a black man, I applaud him for that. Like he, Yo, that makes me think of one other thing before we get out of here. What if LeBron James was following you around at the gym? <laughs> would you care? Yeah, I care. I don't think I would care. I'll be like, yo, where we, you know what I'm saying? What if he was trying to like, yo, me and you need to go and hang out. Would you be all right with that? Like he's following you around at the gym. No, 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 no. Keep nah, looking. Nah. He's gotta, just next nah. to you like this. You gotta say it the way Kev could only understand it. What if he's following you around and then when you stop, he looks in the mirror and looks at you and be like, <laughs> "I'm big, right?" Every time he see you in the gym, I will beat that nigga the fuck up. LeBron would knock you the fuck out. Fuck LeBron there, would man. clean your ass, clean nigga. your ass, because he oh, already bro. tall. He got that over you. You thought you what was you tall. Do? You thought you was time to LeBron to come in kick there. His LeBron, fucking kneecaps off. LeBron will clean you the fuck up. Mm. Yeah, just like yo, he, he better at being bald than you and everything. Bro. <laughs> no, he ain't because he won't give it up. <laughs> he ain't giving you up. Can't yet. beat this nigga, bro. Like, I, like this shit got it has to be said. I will be LeBron James' friend. I don't know about you. I'll be his friend too. You yeah. better hope. You just better hope y'all friends. And you don't think this is a date. <laughs> Why would LeBron James think it's a date? I don't know. Maybe. I'd be LeBron James' friend, even though I don't like the nigga because he, you know what I mean? He fucking like flaked Yo, on you us. You don't have to add that, bro. I don't give a fuck. I don't like the nigga. He flaked on me as a, on the Knicks. So we are forever, <laughs> we forever going to beef. <laughs> oh, man. That's it. Just on the basketball courts, just between the forest lines, we're going to always beef. As a, Like I said, he's a good husband because he ain't never cheated. He a good father. Like, I like what he do as a father, and I love what he do in the black community. What about Dwayne Wade? Dwayne Wade, right? Huh? You don't want to touch that? Nobody want to touch that? Okay. I'm not touching Dwayne Wade's situation. Dwayne Wade loves his son and his daughter. What does that have to do Ooh, with? Oh, nice. I like that. I like that. You know that. what I'm saying? He, does, like he, does, he don't hate, like, 
if like my that. kid, like if your kid was in, your kid is your kid at the end of the mm. fucking day. Fuck, a, fuck everything in the world. Your kid's your kid. I know he catches a lot of flack, nigga. Oh, this how you, you this how you supposed to raise a, yo man. It's his fuck. That's his motherfucking family. At the end of the fucking day, love your kid, whoever the fuck they are, because at the end of the day, they're the only motherfuckers gonna love you who the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what you do, who you are, you could be a. I seen kids be homeless on the street with their parents, and their parents try to do everything for them to take care of them, and they love their parents, even though their parents can't do a goddamn thing for them. And there's a, b- a bunch of other motherfuckers in the world that walk right past them. Big ups to the Wayne Wade. You, your family loves you. I don't give a fuck. This, this, like I said, love your kids, wherever they, however they are, however they come. Real rap. That was that was beautifully said. I'm out, man. We out this bitch. Yeah. Peace, man. Peace. Twice. This nigga double down.